Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Tricalia Lost uh, video. So today's video, I've decided up until hmm, maybe the 19th, we'll see how my time allows it. So basically nine days from now, or until we get the Mana Spiral info, I kind of wanted to do a look back at all the Fire Emblem characters, give them their each own kind of individual video, because it's been a long time since I've used them, and there's a good reason for it. So let's start with Marth. He's the Fire Emblem boy. He's everyone's favorite Fire Emblem. And also, I should mention, if you end up liking this video, please leave a like and subscribe to me for more stuff. There you go. Now that I have that out of the way, <laughs> let's do the actual legit thing we're here to do. Look into Marf from Fire Emblem. So, this is what he does. He has flickering flames, deals flame damage to the enemies directly ahead, and gradually restore, recovers the user's HP for 15 seconds. Fire Emblem... Deals uh, flame damage to the enemies in a line and activates skill shift. If the attack connects, phase 1 increases the user's strength by 10% for 10 seconds. Phase 2 increases the entire team's strength by 10% for 10 seconds. Phase 3 increases the entire team's strength for 10% and their attack rate by 30% for 10 seconds. And then we have Dragon Haste 15% and Flame 10 hits and above, strength 13%. Uh, last boost, when fill 100% of the entire team's skill gauge when he drops by 30% HP. Uh, nope. Stun resistance 100%, and flurry devastation 13%. Increase crit rate by 30% when the combo count is 15 or higher. Um, okay. So, here's the main thing about Marth, which has been... The main issue is that he just kind of got to... He got, um, outpaced. Power creep is a better way of putting it, I guess. By other units. The main thing you would ever want to use him for, because you don't really use him on, um... Flame Megiddo, at least I don't think I've ever seen anyone use him on Flame Megiddo. Um, but you know what, maybe we'll try that a little later, but his main purpose is to bait in specifically HMS. So let me see. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best combo of like Prince for him. I'm going to assume Jewel in the Sun. But yeah, his main role got kind of juked from him by the Prince, um, the Flame Yudin, who was a better unit than him in every single way. The one thing that um, Marth has that I th don't think that the Prince has, because the Prince just has pure raw damage, but Marth has actual like support in his skill too. The problem is, is that it takes too damn long for him to actually activate it. Um, chances are the fight will be over by the time you get to phase, <laughs> phase three. So uh, let's bring him in here. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start, you know what, we're gonna do standard, just because I'm not here to show off, I'm just here to see and try and do his role. And also I think there's still probably people out there who need um, uh, uh, a standard win, so let's help them get a standard win, hopefully. Now we will need, I believe, a healer if we actually want to do full force here. Let me For see, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that Yuden's already saying like, hey, leave it to me, so we should have no problem. So he's gonna be the main one baiting, but... Uh, it's fine. I'll be able to show the rest of his skills, hopefully. Um, now, because he has stun resistance, he has one hundred. He is one hundred percent usable in this specific mode. So let's go in. All right. So first thing you would do for him is go Prove that you're hit, 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 and hit, and then four strikes. So you stay in place. Go here. Go here. Go here. Oops. There we go. Uh, he's up there, so you can't really hit him. There we go. I think the... Where is the low end for this? Okay. I should have saved that for um, when... No, there's a low end right there. It's perfectly fine. Alright, so... I don't want to be too close, but you can see here he has no range, so his only real thing is... So I'll go back here. There. Give everyone a little bit more attack. Team up. Oh, perfect. Okay. Go split on my own. And you can kind of see... Okay, perfect. So I failed by 30%. This is actually something I want to say that is makes the Fire Emblem characters still pretty good, is that when they do that, they still get 100%. Um, the fact that it fills up everyone is super useful. <laughs> okay, let's go here. But as you can see here, and that would be fair, this is standard, so... And now I'm kind of playing recklessly, but we're going to kill him off right here. We'll be good. Perfect. But yeah, the the main issue here is that the main thing people want is Yuiden. So it's actually very hard for Mark to find a place here. Um, 
Just because there's already a unit in this specific slot that just does better in him everything he does. And now, of course, that was standard, but for Master, he would not, he would not survive. That's just the way about it. He wouldn't make it uh, past anything. For Expert, he just doesn't have the damage to get the clear times that you would want. Um, I'm pretty positive I could beat it on Master, but Expert, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna instead go to Aikido uh, for Volk, and I'm gonna see if I can even find someone who's willing to take my Marf. Um, if we can't, then I guess I'll set up a room, but it's going to be tough pickings, man. I doubt anyone wants a Marth. I very much doubt it. The host has left. Yeah. Chances are there was no Loen. If you want to know the, the easiest way to get into Volk, which unfortunately is not easy for people who are starting out, it's to use Halloween Loen, because everyone could use a Halloween Loen. Um... There's also Veronica. The fire at Veronica is also fantastic for it, for at least getting in. Not as useful as... I'm going to leave, because there's no point for me to go in there. They needed, um... They need low ones. Okay, let's try again. And again, if I can't do this, then I'll just set up my own room and try, try and find someone. I don't think Marf will do very good in Volk, but... Hey, you never For know. A peaceful future. Remember when I said I'd make my own? I'll do all I can. Perfect. That actually works out for me. And there's a Yuidin. Let's see if this works. Now, I'm not saying that, like, he's not good in it because, like, oh, he sucks. The answer is, is that, like, uh, you'll see when you just do the fight. But they, it's very, this fight is very tricky. So you, characters that kind of like have to go up close to him kind of have a disadvantage, I'll say. So, so he's going to show up somewhere. He's going to show up there. He's going to avoid him. Okay, let's try. Get out of the way of the spear. Go here. Go. Okay, he's going to go for the spear. Ah, oh, damn it. And he's going to fall asleep. Immediately. Oh, no, he's not. He didn't fall asleep. Okay. Oh, I should have kept that for later, but it's fine. So you gotta do your dodge out of the way. Go over here. Try and get some more damage on him. But you can already see here, like, the preferred unit for this is Yuidin. That's just the way it is. Okay. Get out of the way of that. Try and hit him. Like, I'm... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. We're doing good. Oh, uh, there it is. I must end you. Okay. My then use this. Okay. Now I'm gonna escape, save one skill because for this specific part you're gonna see coming up, it's actually kind of a, a hassle and a half. You'll see what I mean. Okay. I, I say that and then they aim for the low end, so what do I know? Use Fire Emblem, increase everyone's everything. Again, I think if you can get him going, he's definitely good. The problem is that I think he's just a little bit too slow, but with the Mana Spiral buffs, I could definitely see them improving him in a lot of ways. One, making his um, skill two maybe a little bit faster, and may or if it's not faster, give it a little bit more of a buff. So, perfect. Not bad, not bad. Go here. I'm gonna use this. Go here. You want to try and get these. Then I'm gonna try going here. Okay, well, I still have something up. No, I don't. I won't hold back. Oh. Okay. I must Go. Okay, I've got that just in time. <laughs> My prayers are with you. Oh, wait, he's gonna summon right there. Okay, get out of the way. Oh, no. That's bad for me. No, it's not. Okay. Go up close. Hit him again. It's taking a bit of time, but he's definitely able to, like, oh no, get out of the way of that. I'm actually kind of surprised he hasn't been falling asleep at all. He hasn't been falling asleep at all. I was expecting him to just be constantly knocked out for this entire fight. But he hasn't yet, which is pretty good. Alright. Ah, oh, damn it. Where's he gonna show up? There he is. Oh no, get out of the way. Okay, no. Alright, we're doing fine. Taking a little bit long. I will say this is an awfully long time, and I really do feel bad for this team, because I really feel like um, me as the Marf is holding them back a bit. 
Mm, but we're doing fine. Volk has gotten a little bit easier with co-op abilities and stuff. <sighs> yeah, good job. Good job, everyone. You could definitely do better than me. You can definitely do better than me. So yeah, I think Marf is like... It's not that he's bad, because I don't think he's a bad unit. The problem is, is that he's an okay unit. I need this. Um, so he definitely needs a mana spiral buff just because like... If I, you know what, 100%, um, a Yuidin with um, a Mana Spiral would have been 10 times more useful in that fight than Marf would have been. I didn't even get to, like, you don't even want to take a lot of damage in Vol- oh, Actually, no, when I took damage, I think I got 100% skill. I didn't do it in there, but I definitely did it in HMS, but yeah. My current thoughts about Marf is just that he's okay. Um, so I can't wait to see what kind of buffs he get. Uh, he has, I think, the potential, especially with that 30% charge, if that either gets faster or that gets increased, he could be insane. Um, but we're gonna have to wait and see what they decide to do with him. Or if they're gonna, you know, in general. Like, I think they might do something like, um, uh, Lin Yu, because a lot of his kit is actually, strangely enough, built around combos. Let me look at Lin Yu real quick. I think she's on grass. Grass, I mean wind. Yeah, so you'll see that she kind of has the same thing about like how she's combo related. And I think because Marth is combo related, it's a very good shot that he might get something like that. So like a combo extension added to one of his things and you know, hmm, maybe something like that. But yeah, that's my current thoughts about Marth. If you have specific thoughts about Marth, do you, have you been running Marth since you, since the, he first showed up in Fire Emblem Heroes? Are you looking forward to Marth? Tell me about your, your Marth thoughts and stuff like that. He is officially the only actual um, character from original Fire Emblem to make it to the crossover. Everyone else is from Fire Emblem Heroes. He's from the actual mainline Fire Emblem games. So I think they're going to try and do him some kind of justice. And I will say, at launch, he was fantastic. Like, all you, like he was a great uh, choice to go in there. I think if you look at my video, which don't look at my old video from Marf because it's not very good. Um, someone actually, I think, commented a long time ago, like, hey, maybe don't say something about him and then not show it. And I said... You're right. <laughs> so that's today's video. Again, if you liked it, please leave a like. Um, comment about how you're feeling about this. Or are you getting hype? I'm still starting to feel the hype. It doesn't matter that they're saying that the Easter event is next. Is I'm in full Fire Emblem hype mode. So till next time, everyone. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.